Okay guys, today we're going to be doing something a little bit more fun and EDC related, uh, and that is we're going to be talking about my favorite EDC knives for the year 2021. Talking about what I regularly carry and what I enjoy carrying. Uh, I think I have a pretty good mix here, and it should be fun to look at. So without any further ado, let's just jump right into it. Okay guys, before we get into the knives, please don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe so you can see more Alaskan EDC and outdoor content. Now, let's talk about knives. Okay, so the first knife we're going to talk about is the Benchmade 535 or 535 Bug Out. And this is one of my favorite knives for super or ultra light carry if you're looking for something very slim that you can just throw in a pocket and disappears. It is one of my absolute favorites. Now this one is a limited edition Blade HQ special that was released with G10 handles and, uh, and CPM 20 CV as the blade steel. And you can actually find these blades in a ton of options. One of my favorite things about the Bug Out is that it is one of the most customizable knives out there. Whether you want aftermarket handle scales, aftermarket clips, aftermarket spacers, um, just really anything. And so you can get something like this limited edition that has 20 CV as the blade steel, pretty good blade steel to begin with, and customize it to your heart's content. Or you can just leave it stock and have it still look pretty snazzy and pretty special in and of itself. Okay, next is one of my favorite EDC specific knives. If I know that I'm not really, you know, talking about a defensive knife, but just a straight up but just a straight up everyday carry, daily living kind of knife. Um, this is one of my favorites and it is the Spidey Chef by Spider Co. And it is, once again, a very thin, reasonably small knife that disappears in the pocket. And it does have full titanium ha handle scales and it features the good old LC 200N, which is a kind of super rust resistant steel. And uh, I definitely can attest to the fact that this thing does very well when processing or cutting up food. That is its kind of uh, idea. That's why it's called the Spidey Chef, is it's kind of meant to mimic a folding um, kitchen knife, if you will. Granted, it is a little bit small, but that belly, that very swooping belly, is great. Whether you're cutting up cheese, fruits, meats, uh, it does it all very well and pretty practically. It's kind of funny that you can whip this out of your pocket and just start cutting up stuff in the kitchen and it actually works very well for dicing up stuff um, because the blade, sh the blade shape and geometry is actually there. But at the same time too, um, it does a great job at opening up packages, cutting stuff up, breaking down cardboard and doing all of that. Not to mention, um, it is super smooth. You can just flick it right out and just have it fall right back in. So, next one is the Microtech Ultratech. Now, unless you are not a fan of the Ultratech, shouldn't really have to uh, explain why this is one of my favorite EDC knives, It or one of my top EDC knives for uh, 2021. They are just really great. Now, I do like the Ultratech, the standard size, the UTX 85 and 70 are a bit too small for me, but this standard Ultratech size is really just about perfect in a you know standard drop point blade. And of course, they usually come in LMAX. They are pretty fantastic for generalized EDC purposes. And of course, they have that kind of cool aesthetic that they fire in and out. And uh, yeah, they definitely have a little bit of stage presence for that. Not to mention, once they are out, they are pretty comfortable in the hand and they have a good amount of traction. Um, yeah, so that is the Microtech Ultratech. So moving on upwards and a little bit downward in overall size is the Hinderer XM18 and this is the three inch version. So standard XM18 is three and a half inches, but this is the three inch version. Once again, I like this knife when I'm wanting to roll with a little bit higher end knife that I want to be a little bit smaller. So. So if I want a smaller high-end knife, the XM18 3-inch works for me pretty well. And uh, overall, flips out great. It does have a pretty smooth action, pretty good flipper. And once again, in S35VN, this is the Spanto version, so Spearpoint, Tanto, kind of hybrid. 
and it works very well. Super comfortable in the hand. The weighting is a little bit heftier because it has more titanium in it than some of these other aforementioned knives. So it does have a little bit of heft to it, but it is still very compact and reasonably lightweight, but at the same time, kind of built like a tank, just a little bit. So that is the XM18 3 inch. It is, once again, one of my high, higher end carries that I really enjoy. That is a little bit smaller and buttery smooth to not only flip, but also to close. Okay, last but certainly not least, and admittedly, I haven't been carrying it as much as some of these others, but it is the Chris Reeve Knives Sebenza 21, or large Sebenza 21, in the Tanto. And this is another knife that is just excellent, excellent and superb. Of course, this one does have micarta inlays on it to kind of help give it a little bit more bulk in the handle and just a little bit added flair. Same to go with that Tanto tip that I absolutely love. This is one of probably my favorite aesthetically pleasing knives because not only is it buttery smooth to open and to close, but uh, it just looks absolutely beautiful. So this is definitely um, a favorite for sure, even if I don't carry it, but it has to be in the top list because I just love Sabenzas. I've had multiple before, and of course I can't live without one. So Chris Reeve Knives Large Sabenza 21 is an amazing knife, especially with the Tanto or even the Insingo grind. They both look amazing and their performance backs it up. Very sharp, very smooth, very clean knives. Okay guys, so those are my top five uh, EDC, favorite EDC knives for 2021. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and liked the list. As always, God bless and I'm out.